Talk to us about what drives your giving. You've done uh, much for education, for cancer, cancer research. Um, I love what you're doing on wellness. What drives these decisions? Are these things that are just important to you or you, like for example, wellness? Uh, well, health and, ma and making, uh, really I, I, have a, I have a foundation, a charitable foundation, where uh, one of the slogans is cures, not care. In other words, we spend a huge amount of, uh, of money caring for people who are ill rather than preventing the illnesses, supporting wellness. Uh, the money is much better spent. People are much happier not in hospital, healthy, home, with their, with their families. And that we should have programs that support wellness as opposed to, oh, I mean, hey, we have to care for people who are sick. There'll be a lot fewer people sick if, if, uh, if, we, if we focus on wellness. There'll be a lot fewer people sick if we focus on drug discovery uh, and find cures for some of these ter uh, terrible diseases. And a moment ago you said, if I had to do it again, I would choose biotech. I would be, I used to choose biotech. So, Tell me about that. Well, I think this is where you're going to see the most dramatic changes and dramatic new technologies uh, being developed will be in biotech. Uh, you will see uh, most of the common diseases, including lots and lots of cancers, are becoming much more manageable than they ever were. As you know, cancer is not a disease, it's a family of diseases, a uh, family of diseases of, DNA, of the DNA. Uh, and we're getting better and better at, at um, managing th these things and even curing them. And I think you'll see lots and lots of uh, diseases disappear over the next uh, 25 years. Uh, aging will be managed much better than, it, than it's been managed. Uh, that people, maybe that, you know, um, people say, well, gee, well you, you think people will live forever? I have no idea, but as they get older, they'll be much healthier. And they'll, they'll enjoy their lives for a longer period of time. So while they're around, while we're around, we'll have much uh, lo uh, longer periods of health in our, uh, in our later years than we have right now. Uh, and all, all of this uh, is very important. I also focus on the very young, on, on education. If we're going to bring uh, improvements to the economy in Africa, we just have to do two things. We have to do a better job of feeding the kids so they're, they're not hungry, and they've got to do a better job of educating the kids. So the combination of uh, nutrition, and education in places like rural Indi India and rural Africa uh, is uh, those are the two primary focuses of my uh, my uh, philanthropic uh, foundation. Are you expecting to live past 100? <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, do you I think have, about that? I don't think about it. I think of, I usually think about you know the next several weeks. <laughs> <laughs> That's about as far. I, I really pretty much live in the present. So, no, I, I don't think a lot about the past, what I've accomplished, or, you know, and I don't think a lot about, you know, what I'm working on. I'm thinking about the, this current project and getting it right.